Hello, I'm Liam. I'm an experimenter about to take my experiment on a zero-g flight. And in this video, I'm going to take you through all the steps from initially having our idea to talking to all the right people to getting our experiment onto the flight safely to perform in zero-g. It all started when we were in the lab. I was working with my team and we couldn't think of a way to validate our experiment on the ground. We needed to find a way to test our, our hypothesis without gravity. And we found out that the best opportunity was to go on a zero-g flight with Nova Spass. So, ESA, DLR and Kness all work very closely with Nova Space to organise parabolic flight campaigns on the Airbus A310 zero-g. So, each space agency selects 10 to 15 experiments per parabolic flight campaign, depending on what fits. And these experiments can come from all different fields of research. They can be technology demonstrations, fundamental physics, biology, human physiology. Any kind of experiment can apply. And then they are selected on their scientific merit and subjected to peer review before we decide who will join us on the plane. Here I'm writing an email to the experimenters to send them the four most important documents that we have. First of all, you have the requirements document, which is the document where you find all the requirements an experiment must comply to, to be boarded on the plane. Then you have the guidelines documents, which is the document where you can find tips to build the experiment, to conceive the experiment, and to comply to the requirements. Then you have the interface document, which gives the dimensions of the plane, the services available on board. And finally, the ESDP, Experimental Safety Data Package. In this document, you'll describe your experiment. This is the most important document that we have. We will exchange on it all the campaign. So once we've got our experiment built and we're happy with it in our lab, our Nova Spass representative will come over and check that what we've built is the same as what we've been telling them we're building in the ESDP. about four days before the flight and we have a final review by the whole of the Nova Spass team to make sure there's no final issues with our experiment and it's safe to fly. So this is the PHP tube. Uh, this will fly in the free floating zone. We are doing the safety of it with my colleagues. Everybody checks the safety of the experiment. I have just presented the Liam experiment and everybody agreed they were safe.
in our aircraft, as everything can free float, we ask you to um, keep all your pockets closed and secure. If you have toolbox or things like that. Our experiment is a small little device. Uh, as you can see to the side, this is the actual uh, technology itself. It's an electric pipe, which has an evaporator or a heater at one end, an adiabatic section, and then a condenser at the top. 